Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. McNeil. And in case you're wondering, yes, that is in fact the most flattering photo they could find of me. <laughs> but I'm here today because of the Washoe County School District. You know, one thing that really sets Washoe County apart from other school districts is our commitment to student voice. Whereas in other districts, what I would argue is the stakeholder group with the most invested in education, the students. Many times they get ignored, but not in Washoe County. In Washoe County, we have made an active decision to listen and get feedback from students. I'm here because of that, but I'm also here because I am a product of the Washoe County School District. My educational journey was not easy. I started at a charter school. This charter school in particular did not teach me much. Every day I would come home with headaches, and by the end of my first grade year, it got so bad that my mother had to move me. I arrived at my new public school, functionally illiterate, not being able to count above the number 10. But every day I went into school, and before school I tutored math with my teacher. And every day after school I tutored reading with my teacher. And by the end of that year, not only could I count above 10, but I could do math comparable to that of my peers. Not only could I read, but I could read at an advanced level. Now, I'm on track to graduate from the IB Diploma Program at Wooster High School. And I know that it would not be possible if it had not been for that one teacher who changed my life. I would not be addressing you right now. So why am I telling you all this? Well, it's because this data, when you look at it, it's easy to think of it in the abstract. It is certainly an achievement. But right now it's just numbers, it is just figures. And what's important to remember is behind each one of those numbers, there's a student. There is a story like mine. There's a success story. A story about someone who now has opportunity. Someone who will be able to start their life once they graduate, whether that's going to college, joining the military, or going into a career. Someone who will make it because of our education system. These numbers are certainly something that are to be celebrated because the immense amount of good that they have done for not just all other stakeholders involved, but also the students. Now, we have some wonderful quantitative data that was just shown, but to me what really makes the difference is the qualitative data. Now, when you go down to a school, what really matters isn't the number of graduates that churn out, but the lessons that their teachers and staff impart upon them while they are at school. What matters is the experience that they take from their education. That particular experience is invaluable and irreplaceable. And so, to all of you who have given me a wonderful educational experience, I most earnestly say, thank you.